Hello, what's up guys? So for today's video, we are going to talk about the proper itemization. In Honor of Kings, we have three stages of the game. The first one is the laning phase. Second is the team fight phase. And finally, the third one is the ending phase. Now let's talk about the early game. So during the early game, you need to have an item that can easily do damage when it comes to trading. And some of these items can be used for sustaining the lane. Items such as Meteor for that physical pierce is a really good early game item since it is very cheap and it can be upgraded to Axe of Torment or Starbreaker. When it comes to building an item, you always want to buy the item that is very beneficial to your skills and damage during early. You can combine some defensive items if you are always getting targeted by your enemies and can easily burst you down. There are items that can be used as a situational, such as the anti-heal item for both physical and magic. Now let's talk about the mid-game items. So during the mid-game, this is your power spike when it comes to your itemization. This is where you can easily burst or deal massive DPS to your enemies. This is also where you decide if you are going to have more damage items or go for defensive. If you are ahead when it comes to gold, then you can go for more damage items. And if you are behind, you can go for some defensive items. When it comes to gold difference, these are the things that you really need to follow. Now finally, let's talk about the late game. In the stages of the game is where players already have all of their items. So during the late game, gold and items doesn't really matter anymore. If you are a very tanky hero, they can still easily burst you down. When it comes to the late game, you are going to constantly switch your defensive items such as Sage's and Quarry, Destiny, and Blood Rage whenever they are on cooldown. These items can help you to survive even longer. Take note that Sage's and Quarry can only be used twice for the entire game. After the 20 minutes of the game, items such as Sun Chaser, Blood Rage, and Pure Sky can now be upgraded to its final form. These upgraded items are quite powerful and it can help you throughout the rest of the game. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know when it comes to itemization. I hope that this video can help you a lot during your grinding. So if you find this video very helpful to you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this.